All right, we've just gotten out of our meeting with Chopard, where we've seen some of their new releases and learned about something called Lucent Steel uh, that they're starting to use in a lot more of their watches. This is nothing new. This is made of uh, a lot of recycled steel. It's actually harder than regular steel and whiter than regular steel. I didn't notice too much of a difference, but we didn't have anything to do a side-by-side -side in there. But their watches look great regardless. Uh, there's a few releases that I wanted to talk about. First is the LUC 1860. Uh, this is a beautiful formal wear watch with some beautiful finishing details on the dial, including not quite a guilloche pattern, uh, but there's some lovely work going on here, and I think the dial is really stunning, almost as stunning as the back. Uh, this is an LUC movement, uh, the caliber 9640, 36 and a half millimeters. The movement itself is only three millimeters thick, and it has twin barrels, like 65 hours of power reserve. Really impressive stuff that they're doing here. And again, that salmon dial to die for. Speaking of salmon dials, there's also an Alpine Eagle, uh, a new one, the 41 XPS, that uses a salmon dial as well. It keeps that beautiful Alpine Eagle texture intact. That's using the same movement, 9640L, with the subseconds at six o'clock. This watch is made from that Lucent steel. So again, a little bit harder, a little bit brighter, all good stuff. Finally, the Alpine Eagle in a high frequency movement in titanium. Uh, this is an eight hertz movement. They've been doing this uh, since 2012. This is a watch we've seen in concept form before and now we've got a production version in titanium. That's 57,600 beats per, per minute. 57,000 per hour. Yeah, per hour. That's 57,600 beats per hour. Very smooth, very satisfying. And it's got the high frequency marked down at uh, six o'clock on the dial. Overall, really incredible watch. They've also returned with a new Mille Miglia, which is a nice bit of nostalgia. It looks very similar to some of their older models. Uh, very sharp watch if you're into that kind of thing. That's some of the cool stuff that we saw at Chopard. We'd love to hear what you think though. Let us know down in the comments below. And keep an eye out for more content like this coming from the show floor of Watches and Wonders 2023. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care.